first stop on this uh, Florida extravaganza. I don't know what I actually call it. We'll just call it the Florida extravaganza. We got like a handful of lakes I want to fish while I'm here. Uh, this is the first one. We're pretty much downtown Orlando. Picked out a lake on the map right next to the mechanic shop, as you can hear. But... <laughs> Jim breaks it. We got Barry with us this week, but he just goes a couple of my cousins over there. <laughs> He's looking at them. Look at those birds. Oh. It's clear. So this whole week, uh, I decided to stay here because in Texas it's going to be like low 40s and 30s and like raining. Not about that life. And I think they should be moving up this week. It's going to be like mid 80s all week. Stable weather. We could catch some mondos. It's kind of a shot in the dark. Where would I uh, find some crackers? I've got a lot. There's some in there in the day box. Yeah, we're sitting in four foot of water. Yep, just gonna start with the old spinning setup out the gate. Are you gonna throw a moving bait? Yeah, yeah what I are you gonna... I'm gonna throw a swim jig. Okay. What are you throwing? I'm gonna just throw a swim shake. There we go. I was kind of waiting where we're gonna actually see something underneath the water. Oh, I can actually see it now. Out there, I was like, man, what is going on here? Oh, you don't have any sunglasses. Yeah, no, I'm a card. That is, that's I, I, gonna be interesting. I don't know where I packed them? I, I thought I packed them. Yeah, the we'll definitely have to go and get you someday because there's no way you're gonna be able to sight fish. No, I know. Ton of bait in there. Tons of bait in there. Wow, there is, there is a bunch of grass here. I think I'm about to have to put this thing down. There's so much grass in here. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Oh, I wasn't even I wasn't even filming. I wasn't filming any of that. <laughs> cool, I just caught a fish a second ago, guys. Hey, good for me. I caught one on chatterbait. Um but as I looked up, I saw a fish on a on a bed, like right here. So we do have one fish in the boat. It was probably like a two and some change. But there's a there's a quite a bit bigger one right right here. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna see if I can flip over to it. Yeah, you can probably hit him. Oh, the glare is bad. Back? No, no, the glare is bad. Yeah. Like glare is real bad. Oh, I see her. She's there. Yeah, she's turned around back on it. It's gonna be, it's, I'm gonna catch her. I'm almost 100% sure that was a male that we pulled off a second ago. No, oh, she hit it, she went that way. She's coming back around. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave her be for now. Yeah. Well, I know where she's at, I'll just come back. She ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna have to keep continuing. Maybe we can find another one. Yeah. She's not going anywhere. I mean, you gotta realize too, I mean, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Give it like two hours, she's yeah. gonna be way more. She'll eat. There's bass, right there. Smaller ones. There's one right there, yeah, on a bed. Oh, I just spooked something really big. Oh, it's a grass carp or an alligator. So. That's a good. That's a good looking bass. Oh, we are doubled up. Doubled up. Except I think I got the small one. <laughs> Not That's that good. Big, what? No, I'm talking like first first fish on camera for you guys. Perry's got himself a good one. There we go. I've got the <laughs> I've got the Cheers. tiny tiny one. The one that I actually caught off camera, guys, was actually probably about that size yeah. or so. Uh, but there's a thing I got to press on a, on a GoPro. It's called record. You must press that to be able to talk like an idiot to the camera, like I am right now. If you guys actually pictured, imagine being on the bank and I'm just sitting here having a conversation. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't know. This looked like I was talking to myself. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, I'm gonna go back over to that, that fish. I think it's probably four plus pounds on a bed back there. I'm just gonna, we had to come all the way back into this cut to actually see if there's anything decent deep in here. 
And there, apparently there is. There's another bed back there too. Oh, you got a crack crawl in the back of that? All right, so that, that bedded fish that you guys haven't seen yet, that we've only been able to lay eyes on, she's right over there. I'm gonna try to pull the boat around like this and try to block some... Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit her with this. I think she'll eat the bandito bug. Might take her a couple a couple minutes. Will you just hit those poles for me in here in a second? Yeah, she's on a bed. All right. Um, I'm gonna give it a sec. I'm gonna kind of drift in there. You can go ahead and hit them now, yeah, please. Thank you. She's a good sized fish. Okay, I figured it out. I figured out what's going on here, Perk. I got a I got a male that's guarding the bed and she's she's not on the bed. She's off the bed. Like she's over here on the outer edge. And, and yeah, yeah, I keep seeing her randomly come up, but now there's a male up there that I need to get off the bed. Is what needs to happen. That's that's the problem. We're only gonna give it a couple more minutes. These might be ones we need to come back to, for all I know. Because they're not acting like it's gonna happen. Okay, yeah, there's the mail. There's the mail. There's the mail. Got the mail. Yep. That's the one I was trying to get off the bed. Got him. Huh? No, that's a, that's the mail though. Yeah, we want him. Yeah, I got him. All right, guys. So you guys sit at home. I finally figured this out. There's a there's a pretty decent sized female on a bed, but the male is guarding it. And now that we got to pull the male off, and hopefully we can get the female to eat. Appreciate it. Sometimes you just gotta figure out every single situation is gonna be different, but the female is not gonna come up and eat the bait for the most part if there's a male guarding it. And he was guarding it. Now we just gotta figure out where the, the sweet spot is for this female. Yeah, if I can get her to come on, that'd be great. Thing is she's not she she is reacting to this this the slim shake for some reason way more than she was a bandito bug. She wouldn't come in with that. I don't know if she just does not like this worm. Which is strange because I've never used a wacky rig worm. Yeah, now she's coming back in on it. So this is what I like to see now. She's coming, she keeps coming back in quicker and quicker. Dude, that's so weird, man. Fish are so weird. She will not come in on a bandito bug at all. Really? She will not come in on it. But instantly, right when I pick up a worm, she pokes her head in. She does not, I don't know what the deal is. What color worm are you calling? Watermelon red. I don't know why she's not interested. She's not interested in the crawl at all or creature or nothing. Okay. All right, buddy. Calm, calm yourself. Calm. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and move off of this this female. She's not ready. Uh, maybe later on the day, like the sun's gonna come up. Um, if you want, you could just troll the motors out of here. Okay. Yeah, but she's not ready. Like I pulled the the male off the bed, and she kept coming in and looking at a worm. She would not. She didn't want to look at a bandito bug. Like it was kind of. Kind of strange. So I don't think she's she's really she's not ready to be caught. You don't waste your time on a fish like that. I could sit here for the next four hours and not get anything out of it. So we've got a ton of little canals like this we're gonna hit up. I, I feel like I think about 1 p.m. the sun's gonna be coming out. And when that happens and warms this water up just a couple degrees, whew, could get there's tons of beds in here, they're just they're all dormant. So that's update and status on what's going on. Don't waste your time on a bed fish that uh is not ready to be caught. It's it's pretty much the old story. And don't be like Parrot. You need sunglasses. Oh my lord, 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 big fish. Mama? Big fish. Big fish. Like big fish, big fish. Yeah. Oh really? Big fish, dude. Big fish. Like a big old fish. <laughs> <laughs> Holy lord, that is a that is a mega mega. I have no idea. I'm gonna flip it back around. That is a that's a big fish on a bed. Holy crap! I was not expecting that. We have not seen any fish on bed come back in here, so it's an entire degree and a half warmer here than it is at the very mouth of this thing. Wow, that was a big fish. You don't see her head? No, I didn't see anything. She's she's deep, dude. She's in well deep for what we're fishing. She's in five six foot of water. Wow. Dude, no, there's something back there. I'm gonna go work on here for a second. I think if there's one here, I bet you there's one. There should be something around the back side of the, where the grass splits back there too. Okay, that is it. Wow. I, I, dude, I'm telling you, I think we just need some sun. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I got an El Natural Bandito bug. It'll work. That sounds pretty good, right? Give that a shot for a minute. 
I don't know how big it is, yeah. but I'm telling you, it, it was, it's the biggest fish I've seen since we've been here. But I mean, it's 60. Over four probably. I, I think it's over four, yeah. I mean, she was pretty deep. I know I got over excited there, but okay. Where is she at? Do you know where she was at? And she didn't shy away when I flipped the Mondo in there. No, that's good. I want to say she's right. She's somewhere she's over right in here. Because I remember I saw. I want to say she's right there. Nope, right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. There's no way that she wasn't locked. Yeah, I see her. She's on the left-hand side over here. She's the, dark, the only dark spot in there. See? The dark spot or no? Yep. Yep, yep she just yep. turned around on it. it. Oh, that is going to happen. This is for sure going to happen. This is going to be a tough one to see, though. Oh, my gosh. Got her. Oh my fish. god. Holy big fish. Oh, oh. Dude, big one. Dude. Big fish. Oh yes. Big. Big, 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 big. I thought she might have been big. I thought she might have been big. Oh. Dude. Big fish. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Oh. Absolutely hammered a bandito bug. Oh my god. I feel like it might be four. <laughs> I was like, I, mean, I think it's kind of big. Oh I think my it's gosh. maybe the last one. Oh my gosh. Giant fish. Dude, how much do you think she weighs? I don't know. Over six, seven, <laughs> maybe eight. I don't know. <laughs> do we have a scale? Oh yeah, I've got two right there. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> like, she was pretty deep down in there. You can't see her. If you're not wearing sunglasses and you guys are trying to bed fish, you're crazy. She was not seeable without glasses on. All right, here we go. What do you think? It's a 901. Nine pound, one ounce fish. How you doing? That's a good one. It's a good fish. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna keep it. Oh, you can't eat this kind of fish. It's, you, it's a female. It's a female, she's laying eggs. Okay, all right, baby girl. Nine pound, one ounce fish on a bed? That's the first nine pounder of this year. <laughs> there we go. Bandito bug, El Naturel just came in for the win. The only fish back here. The only fish we found back in here was a freaking, I, when I went by it, I was like, that's a head. That is a head down there. She was just so deep and this water's kind of murky. Hey, just want to throw it out there. It's not a sponsored plug or anything, but I'm, from now on, if you guys want to save 30% on the tackle that we use, it's always going to be linked to the top of the description. Always. It's not a sponsored plug. So I'm not being paid to say that, but if you guys want to save 30% on your tackle, and get the stuff that we're using. Oh my gosh, should it always be linked down there. You're shaking. Dude, <laughs> when I saw the head come up, I was like, no, 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 that is a big fish, that's a big fish. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw it out there, Perrick, you're next. Yeah. You're, you're next on, no, no, the next bet is you. Uh, I'm gonna also throw it out there, guys. This, I've been using the Bandito Bug here recently with a, instead of using a flipping hook, I've been still like tying the, the same knot as I would with a flipping knot. Um, what's that flipping knot? I always forget the name of it. Snell knot, snell knot. I'm, I'm still tying it with a snell, but I'm using a four out worm hook because the bandito bug's so thin. I think it works a lot better. It just feels like it works better like this and I feel more confident without using a flipping hook. So anyway, there's that. Oh my gosh, my adrenaline, dude. Oh, cool. Gosh dang. Biggest fish of 2018 so far. Oh gosh dang, it was awesome. I think that all these beds, all three are gonna be dormant um because the water temp is just, it's getting cooler as i go to the mouth you want to go over the next one over? yeah i think we're going to need to i just think that these are going to be dormant but i believe when the water oh geez when the water comes up or excuse me water comes up sun comes up different story <sighs> okay so a second ago uh we were working a bedfish or i wasn't working a parrot was working one and it was probably about a five four or five pound or something around there and it it, it wouldn't it was, it was like locked on to like a certain extent, but then it kept like doing a giant loop and it wouldn't like go deep in, in the canal. It would just stay and, and sit right on the top of the surface of the water. I don't know if it was like sunbathing or I, I, I've seen a couple a couple bass. When you guys are actually going back and, and, and doing this kind of stuff, the fish will come up and they'll sunbathe and get warm. Strange, I know. As you guys are looking for beds, like we are, you're gonna get away with throwing like a swim bait, uh, swim jig, or we were throwing a swim jig with a crag crawl in the back of it. Or you guys can take like a slim shake like this. What I've been doing and just chucking that son of a gun on the edge of this grass line. That is a, a phenomenal way. Cause a lot of times you'll have the, the bass, like the, the, the males, the smaller ones will move up and the females will be sitting in the gut like this. That's what I'm hoping I use a weighted possibly one. do. What's that? Weighted hook. Weighted hook, yes. I am using a weighted hook, yes. I'm using a non-weighted one. I'm not catching any. 
he is not using a non-weighted so i'm using one that has like a little wacky rig hook that's got a weight on the end of it so all right uh yeah some shakes amazing they do the job is this better weather than chicago this though this is freaking amazing like this is the greatest thing on earth right now i wouldn't want to be anywhere else this is right here Quick update. I know I said earlier that I said 817. That doesn't make any sense. There's only 16 ounces. Okay, no. I, I, I went back and I checked that scale earlier. I've been thinking about it. It's 8. So I think if it goes to 810, it switched over to 9. So I, I believe that was actually an 84. Because that thing only goes up to 10. I don't, I don't I forgot that, that scale is really, it's not that good. Anyway, so that was an actually, it wasn't a 91. It was an 84. So I think that's 8 pounder number 3 of the year. I just held up too many fingers. That fish on the bed right there. We keep finding a bunch of little males just chilling, like right there. That was a, that was a two pounder. Look how fat he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's just chilling. I'm trying to catch him. He's just chilling. He doesn't, he doesn't like me. Watch. That didn't sound good. Oh, big fish on. Big fish. Big fish? Right there. Yep. I got one on right now, but it's tiny. Sorry. This is a tiny, tiny fish, but there's a, yeah, there's a good one on this. See right here, my, right here to my left. There was a four, four or five that just uh, went swimming underneath that dock. We probably hit him on the way out. Hit him on the way out? Yeah, he, I mean, he just, he saw us and he skirted right underneath that dock. I also don't know if it was locked on anything because I mean, when it turned around, it went away that fast. Yeah. Dude, there's a lot in here. One, yeah. two, there's three over there. You gotta find the right ones. Where are they at? In between looking for beds, I'm actually just taking a Mondo worm. I got it pegged with a lightweight and I'm just kind of swimming it out here through the grass. I'm not really swimming it, but I'm bringing it up through the grass and let it go back down. Dude, look at that bed that's underneath. There's a, there's a fish on that one, way up underneath that dock. Like way underneath that dock. It's not very big. There's one locked on there. This is the cleanest water I've seen. For sure the cleanest water I've seen. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> that's not there a bad go. fish at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, the audio is terrible. That is, that is, there we go. It's a little male. Just started peeing all over the boat. Look at him doing his thing, doing his thing. Uh, was just flipping that little slim shake. Don't even know if I was recording out the gate. Oh, hey, what's going on person's boat that I don't want to run into? I'm gonna go ahead and drop that sucker in there. There we go. That works out. Give me a second. I'll talk to you guys once we get past this guy with a lawnmower. What the heck? That's back to back. Yeah. Dude, the sun just came out in the fit. What is going on here? Back to back, there was something that just happened that I've never seen with a bed fish. And I think it has to do with timing. And I think we're, we're, we're literally on the cusp with something that could be really, really amazing here. Back to back. What the heck? Three in a row. What is going on here, guys? The sun literally just comes out and we start just catching them. Look at that thing. <laughs> Not even... Not even a half a pound here. What the heck? It's a lawnmower pattern. <laughs> it's a lawnmower pattern. Go, come on. All right, there we go. With that sun coming out, I, I'm kind of, dude, there's so many bathing bat, like, look at that thing. It, there's, they just come up in the water column, they just like soak in that, I just got hit again. It's come up in the water column, they're just chilling. The problem is if you guys see them like that, you're generally probably not going to catch them for the most part, but. Look at that little fish coming in. This one's like. <laughs> Dogs. There we go. Big? Yeah, I don't think it's small. Actually, I know. Oh, oh my god, I guess. Is it? Yep, it's good. Oh gosh, dang, you got airborne. What are you doing? Oh, I guess you can find one with a slim shake every once in a while, right? That, oh my, that is a freaking toad. That is a toad, dude. That is a toad. I'm using really light line, too. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dude, that's a big fish. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, <laughs> yes. Telling you guys right now, like I said, just keep chucking and winding. There's a slim shake right there. Absolutely just inhaled that thing. That is, that's gonna be a five plus right there. Oh yeah, all yeah, day, all, all day, day long, five plus. Oh, we gotta, we gotta wait, we gotta wait. Remember, I'm trying to keep tabs on all fish that are four plus, and this one's definitely over four, four pounds. I'm gonna say this is a five and a half to six. What do you think? Oh, it's so close. Almost, it's so close to where I need to wait twice. 
What, what, what did it say? 5.15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was close to 5. I'm like, that, that way, that <laughs> no, way no, over no. 5. It's almost 6. That's a donkey. Oh, that's accurate. 5.14. 5.14. All right, over 5 pounds. Good fish, good long fish. Slim shake. So I was telling you guys here a little bit ago. Ooh, giant spawning. Right really? Up against another bass. Swear to God, I just saw it. <laughs> right there. See him? No. So I was telling you guys here a little bit ago. I said, take that slim shake, put on like a weighted wacky rig hook, and just chuck it down the middle of the sides of the grass, like I just told you. And look, look what just happened. I'm telling you, it works. We're gonna, we're gonna find some more. He just found a good one on a bed. It's a giant. How big's a giant? He got it. Oh, he broke off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. That's what, what pound is this? 25 pound test. Dude, look at how big that fish is. It's still there. It's gonna. Maybe it's the mouth. Hopefully, I broke off on the mouth. I gotta retie. One second. What just happened? Did you see him? I just caught it. I just caught an eight something pounder on that line. So the one that caught the big old bass that it was an eight three eight four somewhere around there. Uh, was this right here? So I had a four aught uh, worm hook with a bandito bug. This is uh, El Naturel, the bandito bug. And I've been using, I've even using a different tungsten here recently. I kind of like that one. I don't know, preference looks pretty. I'll just do that. But I put a bead in there uh, and then it makes this nice. Listen to that. Oh yeah. Snell knot, pretty good to go. 25 pound test, even though we did watch El Peric break one off today with this 25 pound test. Which is kind of crazy and then of course you guys saw me use that little this right here this is the actual uh, wacky rig hook i know some of you guys are very curious and want to use, know stuff so a little weighted wacky rig hook with a slim shake i was using watermelon red that's that much easier i actually i think i've got like 20 pound uh braid and that, this is actually 15 pound floor that's that that's what i was uh doing today but these are those new uh, limited edition lunkers tv rods uh, you can only get them on tackle warehouse and favorite site that's pretty much it that's that. Thought I'd at least tell you guys. I'm Perix. just here. What's up? I'm just Yeah, Perix is here. He's just trying to, we're trying to get him. He, he's, what's your big? Is 8-4? 8-3. Eight, 8-3. Three. Eight, three. So we need to get him an 8. Dang yeah, it. The one you caught this morning, that's what I need. The one that I caught this morning would have broke his PB. So that's what we're looking for this week. We're, we're on the hunt to get him a new personal best. And I would love just have a good time. to also catch one as well. It's kind of funny that we actually have to buy our own baits. If it makes you feel any better, at least they're good enough for us to go and continually buy them on a regular basis over and over and over I'm again. I'm going to put this in there so I don't forget my glasses. Like, just put that right there. What's the hotel situation? We don't have a hotel. We don't know where we're staying. We have no food. Survival <laughs> challenge? Survival <laughs> challenge? Oh, flare! We are right back there in the woods. <laughs> Make a viral video right there. <laughs> Let's look here. Well, this was uh, it was a good one for me. I will say this: uh, if you can catch an eight and a six, or one just under six in one day, you're having a fantastic day of fishing. I'm I'm pretty jacked. We got perfect perfect weather going into this week. I'm telling you guys this much. Like as we go on on this little like, excursion, it, it actually might get a lot better. Like today we were seeing some females move up, but they weren't like locked on. Like what I mean, they were coming up, they're like sunbathing and chilling, like doing their thing, but they weren't ready to like, to really, like you couldn't catch them. Like they're, they were uncatchable fish, but we could see them, which is good. So it means they are moving up and they're comfortable. But we have a with cool, cooler night going in the morning. I'm pretty jacked for the next couple of days. I hope you guys stay tuned. We could catch a freaking slob donkey, Mondo. This is better for terms, so I know I love you guys. Make sure to check out Perrick. He'll be with me all week. He's a good guy. Alex Perrick would do. Anyway, I love you guys. Click that video right there. Hey, click the one right below. Do you have already? Subscribe. Right down there. Do you this? I love everything. Thanks. Okay.